Hello, this is Michael Altos, and we are on our last recording of Opioids and Context-Sensitive Halftime. This is recording part four. Context-Sensitive Halftime is a very important concept in anesthesia and pharmacology. And let's break that statement down. Halftime, we already know, is the amount of time it takes for drug concentration in the central compartment, that is the plasma, to decrease by 50%. That's half time. What's the context sensitive part? The context is the duration of the infusion prior to stopping it. This is very important, so please make sure that you understand it. This is a graph that demonstrates, that diagrams context sensitive half time. You should be able to um, create a graph like this on an exam. On the x axis, this is the duration of an infusion. In time. How long did an infusion run? On the y axis is the context sensitive half time, which is how long will it take for plasma levels to drop by 50% when you stop the infusion? So let's examine this and look at a few different drugs. Here we see fentanyl. If I run a fentanyl infusion for an hour, it will take about 20 to 30 minutes for fentanyl levels in the plasma to drop by 50%. If I run the infusion for two hours, it'll take about 50 minutes for levels to drop. And if I run it for five hours, it's going to take 200 minutes, so more than three hours, for fentanyl levels to drop by 50% in the plasma. This is probably due to fentanyl's lipid solubility and building up in fatty tissues. Compare that with a drug like propofol in purple. Here we see propofol also increases its context-sensitive halftime as the duration of infusion increases, but it's a lot flatter. And so that's good because we know that propofol is a great infusion for maintenance of sedation and anesthesia, and patients still wake up relatively quickly even after a prolonged propofol infusion. Of course, the best would be remifentanil, which you can see has a completely flat context-sensitive halftime, and that's because we said it is metabolized faster than it can redistribute. So no matter how long you run remifentanil for, the context-sensitive halftime is always the same and very, very short. So to be clear, the context-sensitive halftime increases as a function of the duration of the infusion before it was stopped. And we said this is because drug has moved from the... Uh, so once you've stopped the infusion, then metabolism can begin, but every time you metabolize drug in the plasma, the drug that's stored in the peripheral compartments moves back into the central compartment. Now, you can't really calculate context-sensitive halftime. You have to model it based on computational simulation and an understanding of its pharmacokinetics. And you can't extrapolate it to other concentration decrements either. So this is really something you need to look up in a book One other thing I'd like to point out is context-sensitive halftime is very nice. It's good to know how long it takes for concentration in the plasma to drop by 50%, but is that clinically meaningful? That is to say, now that I know my levels have dropped from the therapeutic level to half the therapeutic level, does that correspond with the patient waking up or what? And it might be that I need the concentration to drop not by 50%, but by 70% or by 90%. The difference in context-sensitive half-time becomes more pronounced when you're trying to clear out a larger percentage of drug. And let's take a look at the graph to appreciate that. So here's fentanyl. All of these curves are for fentanyl. Again, we're looking at duration of infusion versus the... Now, we're not going to call it the context-sensitive half-time, but the context-sensitive decrement time. And this brownish line is a decrement of only 10%. How long will it take to drop plasma levels by just 10%? Well, that shouldn't take very long at all. And so we'll see even with a long infusion, we can drop plasma levels by 10% pretty quickly. In green, we see that same 50% curve we saw before. But suppose we wanted to drop levels by, let's say, 80%. Well, now you can see an 80% drop is going to take a very long time once fentanyl has built up in the body.
That's it for our discussion of opioids and context-sensitive halftime. Please review these very important concepts. Bring your questions to class or drop me an email, and we'll talk to you again soon.